Well, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, a very, very warm welcome to this very special event, a conversation with the new United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, whom we are delighted to welcome to London. And he'll be speaking to us today here in Central Hall, where the very first session of the United Nations General Assembly took place in January 1946, just over 71 years ago. My name is Stuart Wood. I'm proud to be the chair of the United Nations Association UK. Before I say a little bit about UNA UK, let me make some very boring housekeeping announcements. We have no fire tests planned for the next couple of hours, so in the unlikely event that the alarm sounds, please make your way calmly to the grassy area out in front of the building next to the QE2 conference center. And please put your phones on silent, but please don't turn them off as we would very much like the event to be trending on social media, our hashtag being hashtag SG London. I suspect that announcement was not made 71 years ago at the first General Assembly meeting. <laughs> Let me just say a few brief words about UNA UK. We are the only British charity devoted to making the case for the UN to policymakers and to the public. We believe passionately that an effective UN is essential if we are to build a safer, fairer, more sustainable world. And UNA UK aims to lead the calls for strong government support for the UN, particularly in troubled times. Our current campaign, for example, Keeping Britain Global, is all about putting the UN, international organisations and international regimes at the heart of British foreign policy ambitions. And we are also a think tank that generates ideas on how the UN and its activities can be strengthened. At present, we are focusing, for example, on tackling sexual abuse by UN peacekeepers. And we also want to support people in the UK who aim to think and act globally by raising awareness of international issues. And we would love everyone here today to get involved in some or many of our various activities. It's sometimes easy, particularly in the kind of challenging times we live in, to overlook the difference the UN has made in its 70-year history. But since 1945, the number of conflicts between states has declined. Major wars between big powers have been avoided. Most people today live longer, healthier lives. And the UN has played a key part in this history, from feeding children whose families have been uprooted by conflict to helping countries transition peacefully to independence. It provides life-saving assistance to millions of people around the world every single day. When disaster strikes, the UN is often the first to respond and the last to leave. It goes where others cannot or will not go. And UN peacekeepers protect civilians in places where few dare to venture. It remains for all its challenges and limitations, of which we're all very aware, the preeminent forum for states to come together to resolve their differences and find solutions to problems that cross borders, continents, and generations. And that's why UNA UK exists, to support the UN, to help it become stronger. And it's support that is now needed more than ever. Now, I'm gonna shamelessly give you 30 seconds of a pitch for your money. The UNA UK needs your help. We have no corporate sponsors. We get no funding from the UN no core support from any government. You will have received a donation card and envelope with your programme. Please do support us. Please ask your friends and colleagues to support us and drop your card into one of the blue buckets held by volunteers on your way out. And visit our website for seeing, to see how much other support you can give us as well. We're delighted the Secretary General has found time to come here to deliver his first public speech in the UK since taking office and to do so at a UNA UK event. And can I also thank the Foreign Office for its very generous support for this event in particular, I would like to thank Matthew Rycroft, the UK's permanent representative to the United Nations in New York, for his support, for his collegiality and friendship to UNA UK over a long time. And lastly, I'd like to thank our next speaker, Baroness Ainley, Minister in the UK Foreign Office. She's Minister of State with responsibilities including the UN, human rights, peacekeeping, climate change. She's also the Prime Minister's Special Representative on Preventing Sexual Violence in Conflict. And she is a warm, approachable and generous colleague of mine in the House of Lords. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Baroness Ainley.